Hi everyone, Drew Carlson here along with Mr. Payne, our ninth and 10th grade theology teacher for Inferno or Salvation. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. It's great. So here's how Inferno or Salvation will work. We're going to be eating some spicy wings and asking some spicy questions. The wings will get hotter as we go along as well as the questions. And after each question, we will most likely be drinking water or milk for some salvation. But before we begin, do you like spicy food? Because I don't and that's why I have with me. <laughs> um, I don't not like it. I grew up, when I grew up, um, I grew up not really liking it much, but as I grew up, um, I kind of liked it more and more. I wouldn't say I'm like a spicy food fanatic, but I've had some pretty spicy stuff, so. Mm -hmm. All right, and with that, let's have the first wing and dive into the first question. All right. Not spicy for me, even. <laughs> it's got more of a kick than I was, a little bit more of a kick than I was expecting, but. Yeah, me too. So, I graduated from New Bell in 2013 and started teaching here in 2020. Would you rather be a teacher or a student at New Bell, knowing that you've done both? Mm. Ooh. That's good. Um, so, I had, correction, I think I graduated in 2012, oh, not okay. 2013, but yeah. Um, I would say. Probably a teacher, actually, at least at this point. Um, mm -hmm. We've got a really good um, community of staff here. Um, so, yeah, I would say teacher. All right. Well, let's have the next one. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Do you really see these? That one's probably was less spicier than the first one. For me, anyways. Yeah, about the same. Mm -hmm. So. What's your favorite memory at Nouvelle uh, as a student, and who was your favorite teacher when you were a student? Um, uh, I'll answer the second question first. Probably one of my favorite teachers was um, Mr. Marshall, actually. Mm -hmm. So he taught when he was just new teaching when I was here. Um, he was a really good teacher then, and I understand that he's, he's a good teacher now. He's just always been a solid math teacher and really breaking down the concept. So yeah. um, one of my favorite memories was a, uh, one that comes to mind at least is a limbo memory. I was um, limboing, it was my senior year, and my brother was a sophomore, and we were just going back and forth for limbo until finally the last one, I just barely got through the bar further than him type thing, and I mm -hmm. ended up beating him for the, for the win, but yeah. Yeah, well it actually dives into our next question. So how did you get so good at the limbo, <laughs> and how did you get so flexible? Yeah, do we need to? Oh, oh yeah. Swings? Yep. My bad. No problem. Hmm. It's probably a bit more of an afterburn for that one. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, growing up, I don't know what it was, but my brother and I were. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> um, I don't know what it was, but. My uh, brother and I were always just happened to be at a bunch of limbo things, and you know we started getting a little better at that and kind of practicing there. Um, but one time we went to vacation down in Florida, and we saw probably a fifty or sixty year old man going lower than like you guys have seen me go. Yeah, and we were blown away. And he used the little ankle trick technique that I use. So we saw that, and we started kind of practicing that and getting better at that. And yeah, by the time we got to high school, we had kind of perfected it. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Yep. All right. Man, I, those wings are gonna be <laughs> spicy. So, um, we looked at your LinkedIn profile and saw you, uh, before you started teaching, you were a pipe insulator. <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Yep. So, um, uh, pipe insulating's a um, construction trade, um, and I, the most of the pipe insulating I've done is at Hemlock Semiconductor, which. Um, <sighs> I think we got to do the next one. That's what I forgot about. That. Yeah. Woo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. That one actually tastes good. That's got a good flavor to it. We'll see how it kicks. Um, it's spicy. <laughs> but, <coughs> yeah, most of my pipe insulating has been industrial with Hemlock Semiconductor going there. And, um, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. No, and actually that's something that I still do. Um, 
I still do it in the summer. Oh, actually, really? For additional stuff, but yeah. Yep. So. All right, so let's have the next swing now. Before we get this next question. These, this is where it like really starts to pick up now, so. <laughs> yep. Here we go, cheers. There we go. Cheers. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yep. All right. <laughs> 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 All right. So, on top of finding your LinkedIn profile, we also saw some pictures of you from your wedding. Like, oh, no. This one here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. um, could you tell us what's going on and maybe tell us about baby John Bud? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yep, so uh, that's the. <clears throat> oh, God. Okay. <coughs> uh, all right. Yep, wedding party, which consists most of, say, a couple of my cousins, but it consists of most of uh, my brother in laws. And so it's four different brother in laws, and they're the ones who are actually lifting me up and holding me upside down. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> My nose is starting to run. Yep. Uh, and yeah, I think we were just doing pictures and all of a sudden they just kind of like, they took the initiative and just kind of took me up, held me upside down and they were like, all right, yep, let's go with it. And so mm -hmm. I just kept taking the pictures and yep, John was a uh, junior groomsman at the wedding. Okay. Oh, oh man, all right, I need to get a set of mountain. Uh, all right. Final one. Final one. <laughs> this, I'm. Oh, you got this. Right. You got this. All right. I'm gonna pick this side that has less size. <laughs> Here you go. Wow. Whoa. Yep. Wow. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that one has a kick. There it is. Yep. Ooh. So tell us about your experience at the seminary and would you recommend it to uh, any of the students? <laughs> uh, so first off, I do have to say, like, seminary is obviously a place where, you know, you're, you're training for the priesthood. So if you're, um, if you're not necessarily like feeling called to the priesthood, there are probably, you know, other places where you can experience that great Catholic community. But my experience of seminary was incredible. And even though, I realized that I wasn't called to the priesthood. I still recognize that. Um, I believe that I was called to the priesthood to get for God to get me into seminary. But I believe like God's, God wanted me in seminary for a reason. My yeah. formation there, I I experienced getting just so much closer to Christ, a good brothership, a just good Catholic brothership and fraternity in faith amongst so many of the the different seminarians there and. Yeah. Oh, God, though. And, um, yeah, just a beautiful time for, like, spiritual and even just um, natural growth for me, just growing as a person, having that those formative years in college be a time which was really formative in my faith and really formed, um, uh, yeah, just lots of good friendships and lots of just growth in that area that has helped me to be the, the teacher in faith and helped me to be just a better, like, husband and father for my kids and that type of thing so i would you know if you are considering it i would definitely recommend it so mm -hmm. all right well thank you yeah <laughs> well done, Drew. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>